If Indian Food was a Bollywood film, Maida would be Amrish Puri. Don't worry, I'm not here to tell you that Maida is healthy. It is not. When you take a grain of wheat and remove the bran, the outer covering, and germ, the wheat baby, and grind the rest to a flour, you get Maida or all-purpose flour. It's purely carbs and protein, which becomes gluten, and no fiber. If you include a bit of the bran and germ, you get Atta. And it has some micronutrients and more importantly, fiber. But its shelf life is shorter than Maida. But do you have to eliminate Maida entirely from your diet? I don't think so. If you eat a Kerala parota, more than 50% of the calories are from fat, not the wheat. So an Atta parota is not a healthier alternative. The healthier alternative is to eat one parota instead of two parotas. Any grain heavy diet is not great. True of wheat, rice, corn and millets. Maida is great for bread, pizza, pasta, biscuits, cakes, naan, bhatura and parotas. Atta is great for chapati, puri and parathas. In general, eat the atta based dishes more frequently. But are you going to stop eating everything that makes life worth living for? Eating less of something is more sustainable behavior than eliminating it completely from your diet. Balance your plate instead of depriving yourself.